Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking again about one of my favorite things to talk about, Virginia Tech. I'm back here at school and it is one of the biggest days of the year here in Blacksburg. It is the first Virginia Tech Hokies football game of the year. Football games are crazy days in Blacksburg. Everyone is ready to go, amped up, hype. It's wild. So I'm here to break it down, give it a little bit more structure, answer some FAQs about Virginia Tech football games. I'm a junior here at Virginia Tech, so I've been to a game or two. This is coming from the perspective of a student using student tickets. If you're an incoming freshman, if you're a new student, a transfer student, or if you're just curious about the way that Hokie football games work, this is a perfect guide for you to learn more about our game days here. To start off, I briefly touched on this in my What I Wish I Knew as a Freshman at Virginia Tech video. If you're an incoming freshman, go watch that video. I just wanted to say that the football and game day culture at Virginia Tech is crazy. I'm gonna keep using that word because like, girl, it's crazy. It's a super unique experience. Even if you don't like sports, even if you're not a football fan, like do I look like a football fan? But I love a Virginia Tech football game. And it's because of the experience, it's because of the students, the energy, and they are worth going to. Enter Sandman, Virginia Tech's football team's entrance song. The energy is electric in Lane Stadium. It's nationally recognized as one of the best college football entrances and is a historic famous tradition. I'll get off my soapbox. I'm just saying if you're coming to Virginia Tech, try and go to the football games. Anyways, yes, VT football is amazing and I love it even if I rarely stay until the end of the game. Diving right into it, tickets. It's a little confusing, so stay with me, okay? You can buy season tickets or buy tickets for individual games. Season passes go on sale for sophomores, juniors, and seniors at the beginning of the summer before the school year. Then it stops and and then they go on sale for incoming freshmen. And then that stops, and then they go on sale for everyone again. But very rarely are there tickets left over after the freshman sale. I would say buy them as soon as you can. It sneaks up on you, but you've gotta be on top of it. You've gotta get those season pass tickets. I would recommend getting it. It's a little expensive, but I think it's definitely worth the splurge. If you don't get a season pass, you have a couple options. You can either drop a band on individual student tickets, which is just student Students who have season passes reselling their tickets for usually absurd prices, even though they're not allowed to on Facebook, Snapchat, like wherever. So it'll probably be like around $50 for a ticket to one game. By the way, season passes at the time of me filming this, I believe it was $175 for all the football games at Lane Stadium. But we're already doing our mental maths here. Like it's, it's a deal to get the season pass, but you get FOMO. So you pay that $50 and you feel like like a fool because you didn't get the season pass when you had the chance. Right now, I'm here to tell you to get the season pass if you can. Another way to get a ticket if you don't have a season pass is to enter the student lottery, which is where you enter your name with your Virginia Tech email through the school and they randomly have like a certain amount of tickets that they can give out to students in a lottery. For the big, fun, rival football games, like there is such a small chance that you're gonna get those lottery tickets because so many people enter. Well, I have gotten tickets from the lottery, but it's been for the smaller games and then like my friends don't get it and then I have no one to go with and I'm like oh can't emphasize it enough get those season passes okay tailgates it's game day you have your tickets you're ready to go you got your game day outfit on and you are ready to party what is next so there are two different types of tailgates the first kind is the family friendly kind which is technically a real tailgate where like students alumni and parents will have parking spots on campus where they bring their cars they open up their tailgates and they have food they have drinks they have games stuff like that and that's like a real tailgate that stuff will be all across campus then there are student tailgates which is based 
basically just the center street tailgates. I'm pretty sure any like kind of get together before the football game is considered a tailgate, but what everyone is talking about isn't the center street tailgates. Center street is a street right off campus that is infamously known for being the place to be before the football games. It has a bunch of frat satellite housing and regular student housing. But the big like public, public tailgates that you can like actually go to are usually the frats. What's fun, there's hanging out, there's music, you take pictures and your little game day fits and you get ready to go in, you get hyped. Now we're nearing game time, what's happening? Lane Stadium gates open two hours before kickoff. Honestly, depending on if you value like where your seats are going to be or not, I would pretty much get there as soon as you can. I'd say at least an hour before kickoff because for some reason there are more student section tickets circulating out there than there is room in the stands. Get there, secure your spot, stand firm. Don't let these girls next to you push you out of the way because then you're gonna be squished. You're gonna be standing like this. Don't let that happen to you. It's happened to me. Be abrasive. The student entrance is at gate seven. Just basically follow the hordes of other students going towards the stadium and you'll get there eventually. There is though a very strict policy about what you can bring in. They have a clear bag policy and I put all my stuff in this. I put my wallet, I put my lip gloss and sometimes I will put an unopened water bottle in here. You have to throw away anything that's not allowed. They don't allow food, they don't allow drinks. I do recommend bringing an unopened water bottle though because I get so thirsty during these games. In the student section, when you get there early on, they give out wristbands on a first come first serve basis. So that's why I'm saying get there early because when you get these wristbands, you get to stand in the north end zone, which is the student section end zone right on the field. And the alternative is just like a little space on the regular stands with all the regular people that like goes up really far. Um, If you have this wristband, you can also leave the stands and come back You can go to the bathroom. You can go to concession. But if you don't have that wristband, I don't think you'll be allowed back into the north end zone. Get there early, get those wristbands. It's definitely advantageous. So now you're at the football game and you're ready to go. You're probably gonna wait a little while until kickoff, but you're with your friends, so whatever. And then there's enter Sandman and kickoff. It's such an important part of being a hokey. Everyone starts jumping at the beginning of the song. So then the football game starts and you're there and you're watching. If you're like me, you're counting down the moments until halftime when it's justifiable to ask your boyfriend if you can leave. But if you're a little bit better than me, then you're probably enjoying the game. If I can get some concessions, then I'll be chilling. They now offer alcoholic drinks at concession stands. They have food, water, drinks, big turkey legs. The games are usually around three and a half, four hours. So overall, my tips for game day, stay hydrated, eat some food. It's a long experience. So make sure that you have everything that you need. Bring a bag, you'll survive and you'll have fun. About to go to the game. I got my season pass downloaded to my Apple wallet. That's another tip. Add your season ticket to your Apple wallet because there is no service in Lane Stadium. It is really hard. And be ready to go. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. I have vlog, travel, and Virginia Tech content on my channel and I'm planning on coming out with a bunch more. I'm super excited for the school year and everything to come on my channel. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Natty Bird and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Thank you.